Just uh, back with another video here. So I'm sure you all heard a few days ago the flooding that happened in Toronto. Um, you know, Union Station was just completely flooded and there was a bunch of roads that were basically undrivable because how much water was on there. And of course, Justin Trudeau then speaks about it and uh, he had some, let's just say, interesting things to say. Uh, our thanks go out to all the first responders who stepped up, uh, the city workers who are there, uh, the hydro workers who continue to work to try and uh, reestablish power for those who lost it. Uh, it was a, a significant event, uh, and I want you to know that we're all uh, there to work together to make sure that uh, not just people get supported through this, but that this happens uh, more and more infrequently in the coming years. The reality oh, is, though, that with climate change, uh, there are going to be more... There it is. Climate change. It's not the fact that they haven't updated their infrastructure in so long or did any maintenance that they what they were supposed to do. It's because of climate change. And I'm sure now that Justin Trudeau and his stupid cabinet members can be like, you know what? We need to tax people even more. We need to now, throwing money at the sun isn't going to change the climate. Now we need to throw money at the water too. You watch, there's going to be some sort of stupid, they're not going to call it a flood tax. They're going to call it some something nice to make it sound good. But it's essentially just going to be another tax because they haven't done their job and spent money where they were supposed to spend money. They were too busy spending all their money, sorry, all of our money, sending it over to other countries um, for various different things. So it's interesting how it's always climate change. It's never, hey, guys, we screwed up and didn't make sure that we were maintaining everything the floods because of climate change more extreme weather events so we need to continue to step up on our fight against climate change we also need to continue to be making investments in resilient infrastructure that can have hey, look at freeland in the back it's like uh i heard she's gonna be gone soon i really hope i really hope she's gone before they readjourn in september that's for sure no what the future is holding. We know uh, over the past uh, number of years, we've made about a dozen investments in uh, flood resilient infrastructure and uh, various measures from the federal side onto uh, the uh, city of Toronto. And we're going to continue to be there uh, to make sure that people are safe and that uh, inf infrastructure needs are met long into the future in this great and growing city. I mean, it's just politics speak that's all it was just a bunch of mumbo jumbo yeah we're gonna do a lot and we're gonna continue to spend money and on the federally on the great and growing city of toronto it's like yeah growing rapidly because how many immigrants are coming into this country every year was it like five hundred thousand or more maybe even closer to a million go to the century projects website and they'll actually tell you live updates it's, it's thousands of people every day so i mean it's <laughs> I mean, he's just, he's got no plan for anything. He always criticized Pierre Polyev of not having a plan and, oh, why won't he tell us our plan? And then you actually go back to a tweet that Justin Trudeau put out saying that, hey, you know, we need to build houses right near, you know, train stations and, and, and uh, you know, bus stations so that people can just walk and get right to the train, right to the bus really quickly. Pierre Polyev said that a year ago. So people ask, well, why doesn't Pierre Polyev release his plans on, you know, climate and et cetera, et cetera? Well, because as you just saw, Trudeau just tried to steal one of his ideas. An idea that Pierre Polyev talked about, I think, when I first started this channel over a year ago, I reported on it. Right. So Pierre Polyev is not going to give him any any um, any hints on what he's going to do in terms of his climate plan, for example, because if it's if there's any good ideas, Trudeau is just going to take it. And then he'll have over a year to implement it. And all of a sudden, maybe he goes up in the polls because something he did actually work and he stole it from Pierre Polyev. So Pierre Polyev is saying, hey, listen, you want to hear my plans. What you're going to have to do is call an election. That way we have an election campaign. And that way that will be, you know, two, three months away from the election. And then I'll reveal my plan so that that way you can't steal it, implement it over the course of, say, a year, year and a half. And start to see the benefits from it, right? So Pierre Polyev says, no, I'm going to keep my plans as close as I can to my chest. And then as soon as you call an election, then I'll start revealing my plan. But not now. He's already way up in the polls. Why give Trudeau any help, right? So it's just, yeah, I mean, Trudeau's just um, completely out of touch, completely out of his mind, not worth the cost, as Pierre Polyev said. 
And you just see speeches like this, just showing how like dumb and out of touch he is and just blaming everything on climate change. It's, it's so ridiculous, all this hysteria. Anyway, that's going to be it for this video, guys. Uh, please don't forget to like and subscribe. It really helps grow this channel. And definitely let me know what you think in the comments section. I always enjoy reading those. Uh, thanks again for watching, and I'll be back shortly with another video.